Hey friends, this is Pi coming at you with some crucial crypto update. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. Let's go. Now, a Washington, D.C.-based law firm, Cooper & Kirk, recently published a fascinating paper titled Operation Choke Point 2.0. The federal bank regulators come for crypto. Hmm. Now, this paper exposes the unlawful, unconstitutional, and arbitrary backroom war on crypto led by U.S. regulatory authorities. Quite a shocker, isn't it? Now, this issue was first brought to light in February by Castle Island Ventures partner, none other than Nick Carter, who tweeted about a coordinated effort to marginalize the crypto industry and to cut off its connectivity to the banking system. Now, at that time, many people were skeptical, but recent events have shown that Carter's warnings were legitimate. Friends, since that tweet, we witnessed several regulatory enforcement actions against the crypto industry. Coinbase was served with an SEC Wells notice, and more recently, the CFTC sued Binance over commodities violations. Now, these actions have raised concerns among crypto enthusiasts like me and you. Okay, so let me explain, guys, about what Operation Choke Point is. So the first revealed in 2023, this program targeted undesirable industries through their banking providers to implement political views without proper due process. So it appears that history is repeating itself with crypto now in the crosshairs. Cooper and Kirk's paper suggests that we're witnessing a second wave of Operation Choke Point targeting the crypto industry. And it's alarming, honestly, to see our beloved crypto space become the undesirable industry at this time around, right? The law firm reveals that banking regulators are orchestrating a coordinated campaign to cut crypto out of the financial system. They're using informal top-down guidance documents to target crypto-related entities, including firms, customers, and crypto employees and owners. And now, as a result, businesses in the cryptocurrency marketplace are losing their bank accounts and access to the ACH, na ACH network without any explanation. Cooper and Kirk described these actions as an abuse of authority in the weaponization of banking system, breaching constitutional rights and violating due process. Now, the seizure of Signature Bank, which occurred on March the 12th, is a prime example of this concerning trend. The law firm is urging Congress to intervene and hold regulatory agencies accountable. They have recommended six steps, including showing communications, explaining reasoning, and investigating the closure of signature